Hi friends, we're going to practice our strategy of scan and plan today and we're going to use this really cool Time for Kids magazine. So I know sometimes when you're looking at the pages in a nonfiction book, they're busy and filled with a bunch of stuff. So there could be a lot of words in one place or there could be a lot of pictures or a diagram or a map. So it can kind of start to feel like we're just inside a maze and we're trying to find our way out. So unless you have some kind of plan of how you're going to read, you might get lost and end up missing some important information. So it helps to step back from the page, take a minute, and figure out how you're going to read it first. Some people like to start with the visual information, like the pictures, and then they start in on the words. That's something that I like to do, especially if it's something that I'm really not that interested in. I'm going to try and look for those connections by looking at the pictures. Some other people like to read the headings and then decide which section or sections they want to read just because they're looking for some specific information. This is kind of like if you're researching for something. You don't need to look through the whole book. You just need to look for the parts that you need. And then some other people like to read everything first. So this is a strategy you might use if you're taking your EOG or you're taking a test. You might want to start from top to bottom, especially if there are not many pictures. Kind of like in our Loch Ness Monster Passage for the very first night that we had for homework. So no matter what you end up doing, it helps to kind of have a plan for you to find your way across the page. Again, this is really important just so you don't miss anything. So looking at this Time for Kids magazine, which you guys are going to have in a minute, I kind of just wanted to go over some things with you and share some of my connections and some of my thoughts. We're going to pull in together all those strategies that we've talked about since we've started our nonfiction unit. So I'm going to start just from the top, and the first thing I see is environment. That's that heading that pops out at me, and it's bright yellow, and it says environment, cheetahs are on the run. So then I'm going to start asking myself questions. What are they running from? I know from my prior knowledge that cheetahs are very fast animals. So are they going to talk about the speed that they're running, or are they talking about what they're running from, or maybe even are they going extinct? So I have a couple of questions. This is definitely going to be an article that I kind of want to zone in on. The next thing I see is science. And science is not my favorite. So I'm looking at the, at the caption underneath and it says studying stinging insects. And it looks like this guy has something on his nose. Now I know that bees and wasps sting and that's not anything I'm interested in. Though this picture is very interesting. So this is another article that I might have to look at. And then I look over here, it says Kids Central, a 12-year-old hip-hop artist. Now that's of no interest to me, but it might be of interest to a few of you. So maybe this is something that you guys might be interested in, that I am not. Then I see this giant picture of these kids holding up something, and I'm wondering what they're holding. But then if I look at this title, it says Where Soap is Hope. So then I look here and I see this caption, and it says Cambodian school children hold bars of soap from the eco soap bank. So I'm wondering if they're making soap or if they're receiving the soap. So this is something that's really piquing my interest. Then over here it says find out how an innovative program in Cambodia is recycling old soap and changing lives. So there's a lot of stuff in this Time for Kids article that I really want to see. Let's see. So now that I'm looking here I see my cheetah article. And then I see this big picture of this gorgeous cheetah, and it says cheetahs typically roam over large areas in search of food. So now that makes me question, hmm, is their food supply dwindling? What's going on? I feel like I need to know. As you can see, there's a bunch of stuff on this page, and I'm a visual person, so all these pictures are popping out at me. So there's a lot of stuff that I want to look at. When you get your Time for Kids article, you can figure out which is the most important and what you're going to go to first. Then if I look on these pages, I see the Soap Club thing. So this is the cover story. That was the big picture that was on the front of our cover. This is definitely something that looks interesting. Looks like they're little bits of soap that they're going to try and make into larger bars of soap. I can't wait to read this one, but I want to show you guys the rest of the magazine first. Ugh. Here I see King of Sting. That looks like a hairy bee, ant, spider thing. I see its legs and I see its abdomen and what looks like its bulging eyes. It looks kind of gross. Interesting, but gross. And then here's the sky's limit of the 12-year-old hip-hop 
singer. Hmm. Well, I think I'm going to go back to this article because I really want to know what's going on with the cheetahs. Then I think that I'll go to the soap article to see what's going on in Cambodia. We're studying countries, or we're getting ready to. So this definitely seems like a really interesting article. So you guys are going to get your own copy of This Time for Kids. It's very important that you don't write in it or you don't tear it up because I have to share it with my other blocks. So happy reading. I hope that you're going to practice your scan and plan strategy. Remember, you have to come up with a plan first so that you're not missing any important information. Good luck.